Here's how the apparatus worked. Marie would spread some powdered sample on this plate B, which was connected to a battery, so that a potential difference was created between the two plates. The radioactive sample would ionize the air between the two plates, allowing a current to flow between them. This current would pass into an electrometer, E, where it would rotate a small needle that was attached to a circular mirror. A light shining on the mirror cast a bright spot onto a nearby ruler. When the mirror rotated, the spot moved along the ruler. Also connected to the electrometer was a thin blade of piezoelectric quartz, which had a small platform hanging off of it, which you could load up with weights. When gradually adding weights to the quartz, the quartz would be stretched, which created a secondary current that would eventually counter the first current caused by the sample. This would cause the mirror to stop rotating and the spot to stop moving. Eventually though, as the sample ionized more of the air, the first current would increase further and the spot would start moving again. By timing the duration that the spot remained motionless, the current generated by the sample could be calculated. A more radioactive sample would ionize the air more rapidly, resulting in a larger current, so the spot would remain motionless for a shorter amount of time. As you can imagine, this whole method required a very steady hand and a lot of patience.